Brendan, NCAA post-match press conference here with uh, Kelvin Women's Soccer, joined by head coach Emily Ottenhoff, and uh, directly to her left is senior Carly Mitchmerheisen. Next to her is sophomore Lucy Iverson, and then to the far left is uh, senior Anna Remick. Uh Coach, just an opening statement on this game, a 1-0 win in the second round. You move on to the uh, round of 16 for the first time since 2015. Um, How did you get it done tonight? Yeah, well, first, um, just to congrats to MSO. We had a wonderful season. Um, they won a ton of games this year. They're a really good side. Uh, put a lot of pressure on us, um, and they should be really pleased with their season. That game really could have gone either way in certain moments, and so um, just a really competitive game. But, yeah, overall, um, you know, glad we found a, a goal early in the game. Uh, you know, goals can change things, and it helped us play a little bit more free. As we got going, uh, second half, they put a lot more press on us, and um, we managed. We also made some mistakes, and thankfully those didn't bite us in the butt. But um, I thought our team really competed hard for each other and found ways to um, put them in bad positions. And uh, we couldn't find the find the, the second goal, but um, we were able to hold them off. So really excited to be in the Sweet 16 and excited for these guys. They worked really hard, yeah. um, especially Carly and Anna have been here for five years now and happy that they can kind of – that as part of their um, college experience here. Sure. Uh, well, let's uh, talk to the fifth years here. First of all, uh, Carly on defense. Um, you know, the opposing team had some quick uh, strikers. Uh, they did put some pressure on you guys a couple of times. You had that one flurry where uh, the ball was on, um, you know, it ended up being a team save. I think the ball hit the post at one point. Um, just your thoughts on playing defense against a team, even though you had the ball a lot, could really uh, strike back and uh, bite you if you're, you know, not real careful. Yeah, they had um, some quick players and put some really good press on us. Had some great opportunities, but um, ultimately we were able to get it out. And um, yeah, that one flurry on the, in the end line, that was scary there. Um, but just props to our team for finding a way to get it back out and back up the field. So. Yeah, Anna, um, just your thoughts on um, having a little bit more of a passing game tonight. Of course, the wind wasn't quite as uh, stiff as it was last night. It probably helped a little bit, but it seemed like you guys played a little bit more of your style of game, controlled the tempo for good chunks. Uh, what did you see out there? Yeah, definitely. It, um, it was a little different with their formation. Um, we had to adapt a little bit to that. We were able to uh, find pockets of space. Um, um, their formation allowed us to play through MJ quite a bit and just move the ball through there. Um, so yeah, I think we did a great job of adapting to that and to be able to move the ball forward. Uh, Lucy, tell me about that goal. Um, it's always nice to get one off a corner. You've had a habit of doing that throughout your career, and um, this came at a pretty big uh, moment. Nice ball that was served up to you by Liz. Um, what happened on that play? Yeah, I mean, Liz definitely just put in a great ball. It helps that I'm tall. <laughs> it makes it a lot easier. Um, but yeah, she just put in such a good spot that, I mean, it was an easy just come in, hit it, and score. <laughs> Going back to you, Anna, uh, talk about wanting to come back for a fifth year and being on a team here that now is going on to the round of 16. And uh, now that you're here, you know, how does it feel? Yeah, it feels great. I'm so glad I decided to come back. I would change it for the world. Um, it feels great because the past few years we've uh, made it to the round of 32, but it was a big goal for us to make it to the round of 16 this year. So um, I'm grateful I can be a part of it. So Carly, your road coming back for a fifth year was uh, even more filled with work, let's put it that way. You had to come back from a pretty serious injury um, in the conference tournament last year, and uh, you decided not only to put in the work, but to come back for a fifth year. Um, your thoughts on that and how it feels right now to be at this point? Um, it feels great. I mean, it's super fun and glad I came back and put in the work because um, it's been worth it. Um, it helps to have a great team and great players and people alongside me to do that um and you know why not come back um yeah it's just been a super fun experience and glad to do it another year lucy what's it like to be a sophomore and have uh these seniors around you to <laughs> just kind of lean on when you need to <laughs> i mean it's amazing they're such good leaders it's so like so easy to look up to them and learn from them and like definitely they like inspire me to be better and help me improve through so many ways yeah. Uh, Coach, just thoughts on, um, you know, getting this one over the line and moving on to next week. Um, you know, you'll probably have to regroup a little bit, do a little scout, and uh, then find out where you're going. Probably tomorrow night, I guess, is usually when they start announcing that type of thing. So um, just your thoughts on the upcoming process and having another week to play. 
Yeah, I mean, I think if you look at the NCAA tournament, you just kind of got to take one game at a time. Um, you don't have to beat every team. You just got to beat the team in front of you, and, and you've got to be the, the best team on the night, and so or the team that's most opportunistic on the night. And so um, it, it's hard winning this game. It feels like there's a barrier to get to the next round, and so um, excited to have kind of pushed through that and gotten past that. Um, now we have got to kind of regroup again and uh, reset because we've got another weekend ahead of us like that. Um, we'll find out, yeah, tomorrow once the other matches are done where we're likely heading somewhere else. Um, but we've got to rest up and, um, yeah, just kind of get mentally prepared for that. So, uh, but first, I think just good night to enjoy this moment for our program. Uh, we had a ton of alums here, uh, a whole group of them uh, cheering us on. That was amazing to have them here and supporting us. And so uh, it was just awesome to be able to play here in front of our home crowd. Um, kind of get one last match on Zydema for the year. Um, and yeah, looking forward to hitting the road and getting a hotel and hanging out for a little bit more this week and, and trying to get better. So we're excited. All right, very good. Congrats and uh, looking forward to watching you guys next week. Thank you.